Good morning and a very warm welcome to beginning the day with God on Thursday the 1st of December. Our opening music today as we begin or continue our Advent pilgrimage was by Paul Miller, Behold the Tender Babe. Days of heavy cloud stifling the sunlight, the world burdened by greyness and gloom. Open our eyes, Lord, to the coming of your light, lifting the burden of darkness from our lives. Chillness that seeps down deep into bones, hearts and spirits, rigid with frost hardness, souls wrapped up against coldness and loneliness. Open our souls, Lord, to the warmth of your coming, melting the hardness that keeps us from you and from each other. Trees, branches bare against the still skies, stems crumbled under weight of frost, the weight of snow, last year's leaves blackened and slippery underfoot, nature oppressed by wintriness, yet resting, awaiting rebirth. Cherish our hearts, Lord, oppressed by wintriness, Assure us of your coming, of your call to new life. In the soft darkness of this place, we kindle lights of hope for the world. We join with the saints who have lived and loved this place to give glory and praise to God. Amen. This morning, as we continue this Advent pilgrimage, we reach the theme of weather, the first week of Advent, Thursday. First, a gift to ask God for. I ask for the gift of being able to read the signs of the times more clearly. And now a reflection for the road. The writer of today's reflection records this. I vividly remember the first day of the pilgrimage I made at the start of my training to be a Jesuit priest, although it's more than 30 years ago. Two of us were walking from Santander to Barcelona, some 700 kilometers. On the way, we would visit many of the places associated with Saint Ignatius Loyola, our order's founder. But on the first day, all that lay ahead. As we stepped off the ferry, squally rain greeted us Laboriously, we searched our rucksacks for our waterproofs and we struggled into them. Ten minutes later, the sun came out and the temperature rose. Sweating, we repacked the waterproofs only for the rain to return. And so the day continued with alternating rain and sun. Much of my life now is spent securely indoors, isolated from the weather. I might notice that the central heating needs turning up or hear a shower against my office window, but it has little effect on what I'm doing. It's different, though, when you're on the road. A clear, cool morning can lift the spirits and make the journey seem easy. Cold and damp seeps into the soul, making you wonder why you ever set out in the first place. Now in middle age, I can recognize more clearly the weather of my own temperament. I get up some days feeling overcast and gloomy. On other days, I feel fresh and clear-headed. Sometimes there's a clear reason for this. A late night after a few drinks, 
or a good sleep after a tiring day. Perhaps more often my mood is simply there, like the weather. I can't do much immediately to change it, but I can choose how I react to it, positively or negatively. And now scripture to accompany us on the road. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. It seems that this is a proverb still in use today that Jesus was familiar with. In Matthew's Gospel, he tells the Pharisees and the Sadducees this. When it is evening, you say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be stormy today, for the sky is red and threatening. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. Matthew chapter 16, verses 2 and 3. Using traditional wisdom and help perhaps by modern technology, I can interpret much of what the weather may have in store and take some steps at least to prepare myself appropriately. When I look at the world around me, using whatever aids are available, can I get some sense at least of the way my life's journey is going and see what I need to do now to prepare for what may lie on the road ahead. And finally, words for the journey. Heavenly Father, as sun and rain come and go, as storms threaten me and clear skies console me, let me not lose sight of the signs of your presence, the signs of all that you are doing in our world. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We take the light of our prayer into the world. To pray for those unable to pray, to offer ourselves as answers to prayer. We take the light of our compassion into the world. To come alongside those who are suffering anguish of heart or anguish of mind and be as Christ for them. We take the light of God's power into the world. God's power made perfect in powerlessness Strength made known in weakness, life made known in dying. God enters the hearts of all who pray and feel they are not heard, suffers their pain, their humiliation, carries the burdens of the world and dies that we might live. May our God who is to come bless us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And until we meet again. May God hold us in the palm of his hand. Amen. Amen.